A Jacksonville family is preparing to lay their 14 year old son to rest after he was killed in a mini bike crash last week in the Lavilla neighborhood. Our Cheyenne Cole is on your side tonight speaking with Markwell Curse Jr's father about this tragedy. She's in the studio with us and Cheyenne, I understand that they had his wake today. That's right, Anthony, and his father says they're just taking it day by day, relying on God and prayers to get through what's been a difficult time for the entire family. He remembers his oldest son and namesake as a happy kid who loved adventure, sports and spending time with his siblings. Mark Welker Sr. recalls waking up to a phone call from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office about his son last Thursday. Homicide detectives asking for details about 14 year old Mark Welkers Jr. who was killed while riding a mini bike with a friend on South Myrtle Avenue. Eventually they broke the news that he died at the hospital. When I heard that I just blacked out. Like all I remember just waking up inside the house, just just crying, just eyes bloodshot red. Just can't believe it. Like I still can't believe it to this day. JSO says the bike was not street legal and that the two teens crashed into a dump truck that was slowing to make a turn. Security camera footage captured the moments before impact. Kerr Sr. says he thought Markwell was in school that afternoon. I could try to keep my kids in the house all they want, but they growing boys. Like, boys love to be in action, and he is like Markwell Jr., so he's like very active, very energetic. So if I had him sitting in the house all day, every day, he'll just be like a Tasmanian devil. The seventh grader attended Lakeshore Middle School. His father describes him as a daredevil who respected everyone. He loved his dirt bikes. He loved sports, basketball. But Junior, Marquel Junior was the type of kid that he loved to see his other brothers and sisters happy. So as long as it made them happy and he was just happy all the way around. Kerr Sr. says they're leaning on God and faith to get through planning a funeral for a teenager. Hey God, he, got, he has us. He has the family. We all in this together. So we holding each other hand, taking a step at a time. He wishes he could tell him he loves him one more time. Love on your loved ones every day. Tell them you love them every day because you never know when the last time you're going to have a chance to talk to him. Kerr Sr. says he's grateful his son's friend survived the wreck. Markel Jr.'s funeral is tomorrow. His family is fundraising to pay for those expenses, and you can find the link to the GoFundMe by visiting this story on our website. Reporting in studio, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News on your side.